So I'm going to try to make a video that shows how to uh, deal with the boom pole and its accessories. Uh, we'll start with the pole itself. You'll notice it has an XLR cable on the uh, end of it and it has an XLR cable up here. So um, this is this is how it goes down. You've got See, I'm going to try to do this while it's all in frame. It's sort of exciting. All right. So you have the microphone. And it's inside this little grip thing. The grip thing screws onto the boom pole. See? Right in there. Boop. So you screw the hand grip thing onto the boom pole. And then you carefully... Thread the microphone in between the pieces of elastic. And then you have uh, the cable at the handle end of the boom pole, and you can plug that in. Nope. Never blow into a microphone. Nobody's ever told you that before. Never blow into a microphone. All right. So now we have this part attached. Now, let's take a quick look. What else we have? We have this big, funny-looking, boopy nose thing. So the boopy nose thing slides doo -doo 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 -doo, like that, and you can push the microphone forward in it if you like. You don't really need to go too crazy, and it's got these little friction things on the bottom. You can tighten those up, and then you have the end of your zeppelin. And that just screws on and boop. <coughs> this will uh, protect you from almost any kind of wind there is. But, and you'll excuse me while I take a drink. If you want to deal with real gale force stuff, you have what is sometimes known as a dead cat. I like calling it a big fuzzy thing. It goes onto here. So the big fuzzy thing, it, the big... The Zeppelin just fits into the big fuzzy thing. It's got a specific name, actually. Uh, it's a Rycoat Windjammer, maybe? It's a terrible name. Big fuzzy thing or dead cat is much funnier. So now, you can just zip it closed. Maybe. Maybe you can do that on both sides. And I have to put it down out, outside of the camera. That's always nice. All right, so now this is about as boss as you can make a, uh, a boom pole. To open up a boom pole, you unscrew, uh, starting with the, the smallest locking ring, you unscrew it a little bit, you bring the pole all the way out, and then back in just a little bitty bitty bit. Sometimes you have to unscrew it some more. So it goes all the way out, and then back in just a little bitty bit, and then you just hand tighten it down, not not. You don't get too crazy with it. And you'll also notice that the, uh, with the microphone, it, it tends to want to flip upside down. You just have to deal. Sorry about that. All right, now going back to this end, I like to put a short, this is just a short XLR that has a, a right angle adapter. I like to put that on the end of this because... It means that you can set it down on the ground upright without it sitting really obnoxiously on the connector. The other end of the connector, it's male XLR. That goes into cable, which is a female XLR. I can't show you anything at the same time, which also, which has a male end, which goes directly into the recorder, into channel 4, which uh, should already have a phantom power on and such. I think that's, that's all I know, man.